Hello everyone, Alexander is here. Today I'm gonna tell you how to set up budget MIDI controller with Adobe Lightroom. First of all you need USB compatible MIDI controller. It's easy to find on eBay or Amazon or etc. My recommendation is to pick up Korg Nano Control 2 as the most optimal one and the cheapest one. It's approximately $50. But actually, if you don't like it, you can pick any other with enough knobs and sliders, the one you like. This one has like 8 sliders and 8 knobs, so you can turn and slide everything you want. And you can set up easily with all of the controls you decide. So, let's pretend that you got it. You received it, you're unpacking it. Unfortunately, they ship it without USB cable, but it's typical mini USB Type-B that can be found in any shop. So you plug it in, and the fun starts. Usually you don't need drivers for those kind of devices, because they are supported by default by your operating system. To align your MIDI controller with Lightroom, you will need a MIDI 2LR plugin that is open source and available on GitHub. Just google it and one of the first results would lead you to this page. Go to the latest release section and press download button. Then choose the version for your operating system, it could be Mac or Windows. Press next, next, choose the directory that is usually correct and that's it. So you're done. Then you launch your Lightroom. In the very beginning you have the Windows plugin showed up. It's empty. But after you begin touching your MIDI controller, it will show up the IDs of controls that you use. And as you can see, you try using slider, it shows up there, then you choose which command to assign. Most commonly used controls are located in the basic section. That's what you need to develop your pictures. I've assigned the first slider as a color temperature control. So it's done. It's ready and then you can slide and change the color temperature of your pictures that easily. Then you choose the first knob. And that's it. It's quite easy. The rest of controls you assign in the same way as you did for the first ones. You just touch them and assign the command. That's nothing special and absolutely doable. After configuring all the controls, you can easily tune any of your pictures without using of keyboard. The only issue I experienced with this controller was that the knobs and sliders they don't return into the basic position after you change the photo, so you have to slide them all through to pick up the current value and change it. But it's not a big deal and you get used to it easily or you can just buy a more expensive controller. Thanks for your time and attention, I hope my video helped you somehow. If you still have any questions, please ask them in comments. All the links are provided in the video description.